I remember one day he just came up to me and said, Trinity, I'm sorry, colorful language comes naturally to Australians. Who was the member of the returning cast that you were most excited to meet? And what was the first thing you said to them when you saw them on set? I was most excited to meet Slang, um, or Stephen Lang. I met him during the audition process, and I remember the first time I saw him, I said, like, holy <laughs> Yeah, that, that was like the first words I spoke to him. Uh, I have to say, like, Zoe's performance from the first Avatar was like, you know, magnificent. And just to see her do her thing and uh, to be able to interact with her and lock eyes with her in a scene was uh, incredible. Okay, so, I, <laughs> when Kate was cast, I, I <laughs> Jamie knows because Jim comes into the room and he's like, we're 99.9% .9 sure that Kate Winslet is going to play Ronal and Ronal plays Sadea's mom. So... I was freaking out and Jamie was next to me and I'm like, Kate Winslet from Titanic. And he's like, yes, Bailey, we know. And then she comes on to set and she just gives me the biggest hug. It was awesome. <laughs> just being on that set with them and getting to watch them and lean on them and learn from them. I remember one day there was this really intense scene and Sid came up to me and just made me feel confident and prepared and like, okay, I can do this. And I'm just so honored to get to stand next to them. They're so amazing. I would say Trinity was seven when we began and her joy and excitement every day, I thought that it was uh, very infectious. It reminded us that you know this was not business as usual. This is a crazy thing to be able to do for a living, using your imagination that you can transform the world into what Jim wants the audience to see in about five years. And also you had to watch your language. Trinity used to keep this jar, and if you said, you know, an unmentionable word, you had to put a couple of bucks in it. I think that, I think that Jim Cameron contributed hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to that jar. Very true. And Jack, my castmate and I, made this swear jar, and Sam happened to be one of our primary contributors. <laughs> but actually, Sam really tried and put a really big effort to not swear. I remember one day he just came up to me and said, Trinity, I'm sorry, colorful language comes naturally to Australians. And it was just, I mean, some good came out of it, because what comes out of one mouth goes into a puppy's mouth. <laughs> um, we, Sam helped many puppies and a cat. Who among you contributed the most to the swear jar? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Jack Champion. Yeah, it was yeah. Jack. It was Jack. Yeah. Really? You helped start it yeah. and then you funded I, it. Yeah, funded it, of course.